each month we honor someone who is making a real difference in the community. Today I had a chance to chat with this month's hometown hero. We're here with Teresa Costanzo, who is the executive director of Tuscaloosa's One Place. And we're here today to talk with Teresa a little bit about what you all do for children here in West Alabama. So tell us a little bit about Tuscaloosa's One Place and how important role you guys play in the lives of children here in West Alabama. Well, our agency has been open since June of 1999. And we really feel like we are making a tremendous difference in our community and have for the years that we've been open. And tell us a little bit about why it's important for people to be involved in the lives of children. Well, children are our future. And as uh, citizens of this community, I feel that we all have the um, ability and the opportunity and the, the job is for us to better the lives of children uh, that we're, we're with every day. And you mentioned now Tuscaloosa is one place, is, hence the name Tuscaloosa is one place, started here in Tuscaloosa, but you guys have expanded and are serving children outside of Tuscaloosa. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, two years ago we were fortunate to be able to expand with some limited services in Green and Sumter County. And we're really excited about that opportunity because we're able to help young moms and uh, their children in Green uh, and Sumter County. And then we help with career development in Green County. And I'm sure with the agency of this magnitude, volunteers are very important. So if someone is sitting at home and want to know how they can help out, tell us a little bit of how they can get involved here at Tuscaloosa One Place. Well, volunteers are an integral part of our, our work here. And last year, we're pleased to say that we had over 28,000 volunteer hours. So we have a huge volunteer base, but we always have room for more. Uh, and if you're interested in um, volunteering, we would love for you to call uh, Emerald Autry or Amanda Waller, who are over our volunteer program. We also have opportunities. Uh, Christmas is coming up. Thanksgiving is coming up. School supplies. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities here in our community to give back. All right. And because of all of your efforts here at Tuscaloosa's One Place, you were nominated and selected to be the first winner of WBUA's Hometown Hero. So we are here to present you with a certificate for all the work that you do for children here in West Alabama. Congratulations. So tell us a little bit about how you feel. I know you're letting it sink in a little bit, but how do you feel about somebody thinking enough of you, not only to nominate you, but you were selected out of a large pool of people here in the community. So how does it feel? I'm very honored. Um, I feel undeserving, but children in this community have been my life. Children have been my life for 40 years. Um, but the real heroes are my staff because they're the ones that do the work every single day and without them the work of Tuscaloosa's One Place would not be what it is today. Well, thanks so much for what you do for children here in West Alabama, Teresa, and congratulations on a well-deserved honor. I'm very honored. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And if you know someone who is making a difference in your community, you can nominate them by visiting our website, WBUATV.com. Hometown Hero is brought to you by Tiger Rock Martial Arts. And again, congratulations to our winner, Teresa Costanzo.